good afternoon and uh, welcome to our lesson today. Now, this particular lesson is for our new student. I have seen we have seen, we've got somebody called uh, Jemima Anyango. Okay, so this is a part of your lesson. So, uh, last lesson, I was able to give an introduction of what shorthand is. Okay, and now from that, I also want to show you how you drill in shorthand. Okay, yeah, so I was able to explain to you that uh, shorthand is a phonetic way of representing English words into signs. So, I also was able to explain to you that in shorthand, what we capture most is the sound and not the spelling. So, if you have got a heavy sound, for example, B, the outline is darker. If you've got a light sound like T, the outline also is lighter. And that's why we were able to talk about the straight downstroke. Remember, we also said in shorthand, we've got 24 consonants. Yeah, 24 consonants, 12 vowels, and 4 diphthongs. Now, the first 6 consonants in shorthand are what we call the straight down stroke. Now, when you hear the word straight, it means it is straight. And then when you hear the word down stroke, it means it comes from up, going down. Okay? So I want us to do a practical lesson. Yeah? So in shorthand, basically, what we do is that we divide our book, the book that you have. There is this book that I mentioned that you need to have a copy of. Yeah? So what happens in shorthand, we normally write on um, a ruled book, the ordinary ruled book, which we shall assume looks like this. Okay? This is how our ruled book looks like. Yeah? So out of this, remember we say we are handling the straight down stroke. Now, we've got consonant P, yeah, consonant P, the sound is lighter. So therefore, the outline, the way you write the outline, you don't press your pencil, okay? So for example, P, so when you're doing your, um, your drills, at the end, write P, just the way P is supposed to be written, and then you drill. I remember I said in shorthand, we don't write notes, yeah? Instead, we drill, okay? So you come to P, which is at the end there, so you look at P, P is lighter. So meaning as you drill, you don't press your pencil harder, okay? So we've got P, P. And remember we say, when we are drilling, we also say it either from your heart or you say it uh, a bit silently. Why do you do that? You do that so that as you drill it, you are able to register that outline in your mind. Okay? So we've got P, P. Remember, that outline goes up to the line. So what happens in case you drill an outline and it goes through the line? Remember, I, I didn't mention this, but in shorthand, we don't rub. Okay? We don't rub. So what happens if you make a mistake? What you do, for example, this is what I was, maybe uh, instead of me putting this line up to there, I extend it, which is a mistake. Because that outline is supposed to be on the line. So if it does, I, do, I do it like this, which is an error, 
and circle. Yeah? So that circle means it's, it's more or less like you've rubbed it. So you don't physically need to have a rubber. So in shorthand, we don't rub. Instead, we circle to indicate that that is a wrong outline. Okay? So we go to P, P, so this is a, a mistake, P. Okay? Then we go to the other consonant, which is B. Now, B and P are the same. The only difference is that B is a bit darker. Why is that so? Because also of the sound. So here, P, B. So even the way you pronounce them, one has got a heavy sound, another one has got a light sound. So for B, you press the pencil, B, 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 B. Now, what happens in shorthand? As you drill it so many times, yeah, you also write it faster. For example, because I know you're just beginning, you could write it a bit slow because you're very keen, okay? But as you progress, if you write this same outline so many times, yeah, you should be able to write it faster. And that's the essence behind shorthand. Remember we said this skill will enable us as secretaries to be able to take dictation during meetings, to take dictation for letters, to take dictation on various issues. So the essence here is to enable you to represent each and every single English word as fast as you could. Because remember, the other person who is giving the dictation, they are not there to keep repeating it. So for example, if I am to give a dictation, I will not be so keen, yeah? I will not be so keen to explain that I'm going to give you this speed at this level, yeah? So in the next video also, I will show you what shorthand exam entail. Because I want you, as you come on board, you need to understand how is an exam, how is a shorthand exam conducted? Because what happens in a shorthand exam, I will come there and I will read a dictation. That dictation, you're supposed to write it in shorthand and after that, you're supposed to go back and translate that shorthand dictation in longhand. Okay? So in the next audio or the next video, I'm going to explain what to expect in a shorthand exam okay so we were saying as you drill this when you continue drilling it so many times also it becomes very easy for you to write very fast okay so that is pb then we said the other consonant is t t t so T is represented by this sign, yeah, which is a bit light. So you say T, 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 T. You say, remember we said when you make a mistake, you circle and you continue. T, 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 T. Okay? Yeah, and remember, this outline has to be on the line. It should not go either above or beyond. Because as we continue, we shall also talk about something else which I'll talk in the next uh, in the next few minutes. Okay? So we've got T, then we've got D. Yeah? So D is heavy because D, T, T, D. So the sound is heavy. So you've got D, 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 
D. Kef? Yeah, so that's D. Then the next consonant is what we call the Ch. Ch like for chair, H, yeah. Ch, C, H, yeah. For words like chair, uh, check, which, yeah. Ch. So Ch is written like this. So you say Ch. It's slanting. Ch, Ch. Che, 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 Okay? Then we have J. J. Now, I know you call it J, but we don't call it, you know, in shorthand we capture the sound. For example, a word like jet. Jet, jet of G E T. You don't hear the word J, yeah? You don't say, uh, you don't say J, you say J. So, we have J, yeah? Now, J is like J. The only difference is the sound, okay? So, we've got J, 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 J. J, 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 J. Okay? So, basically, those are the six consonants. The first six consonants in shorthand. And they mm -hmm. are in pairs. Pairs means they are two, two, two. But mm -hmm. they have got different sound. Because P looks like B. The only difference is the dark one is a dark stroke, the other one is a light stroke. T and D are the same, yeah? So that one is light, one is dark. Then J and J are the same, but one is lighter and the other one is heavy. So the first six consonants in shorthand are P, B, T, D, and Ch, J. Those are the first six consonants. And we say they are downstroke. Downstroke means you write them coming up, going down. Yeah? B, T, D. Che, che. They are coming from up, going down. And they are straight down stroke. Because it comes from up, up, down, up, down. Okay? So, when I give you the assignment, or when I'll give you this assignment now, what I want you to do is... You look at the six consonants, okay? Now the six consonants, the P, B, T, D, J, and J. Each of these, I want you to drill times ten lines. Ten lines each. Ten lines each. Meaning, if it's a book, if it's a book, yeah, you count 10 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up to 10 lines. Okay? So I want you to drill P, B, T, D, J, J, 10 times each. Okay? Now, from there, I want us to continue where we shall talk about something called position. So I hope up to that point, I am very clear, okay? So I want us to talk about something else that we call the position, yeah? Remember when you were drilling those ones, those outlines, we say they should touch the line. They should touch the line. So touching the line, is now what we are going to discuss about called the position. 
position of outline position of outline position of outline now in shorthand we say remember all the time we are this is our imaginary book this is our imaginary book so we should always have this all the time so we say uh, we have got positions in outlines so when we talk about outlines, remember the P, B, T, D, Ch, J, those are outlines. Now, these outlines can be written on three different positions. Now, that's what we call the position. So we say we got first position. So first position means what? First position means that the outline is written above the line. For example, P. You can have P written above the line. But don't mistake this. Yeah? The assignment I have given you, all the outlines should touch the line. But I'm just trying to explain to you that we've got different position. Yeah? Different position. So this different position means that the outlines are written in different stages. So the first out, the first position we call it first position, first place. We say the outline is written above the line. That is what we call the first position. Then second position. That is now what I have told you to write. The outline touches the line. The outline touches the line okay which we call second position and third position means that the outline goes through the line if it goes through the line it means it is third position third position Okay? So we've got three ways of representing this outline. We've got first position where we've said the outline goes above the line. Second position means that the outline is or touches the line. And third position means that the outline goes through the line. So those are the first three positions in shorthand. And in the next two chapters, that is unit one, Unit 2 and Unit 3, all outlines are written on the line. Okay? So, which means they will be all second position. Okay? So, I hope up to that point, I am very, very clear. So, what I want you to do, as I've said, as I've given you the assignment, the first six consonants, I want you to drill them. 10 times each yeah and please i want you to send me your assignment via my whatsapp line which i gave uh which i've given on the portal so send me a message take a screenshot and send me that assignment because i want to see it so that as we continue we are very you know we are we are moving on together as a team Okay, so remember you need to have the specific pencils that I told you about. Yeah, you also need to have a sharpener because this pencil keeps breaking down. So you need to have a sharpener. Then you need to have a, a, a A4 a ruled line book. Yeah, and of course you need to have this book. Yeah, this book is very important for shorthand students. So on those few remarks, I will see you in the next uh, video. Thank you.